Exodus 29 verses 38 to 46. Now this is what you shall offer on the altar to lambs a year old day by day regularly. One lamb you shall offer in the morning and the other lamb you shall offer at twilight. And with the first lamb a tenth measure of a fine flour mingled with the fourth of a hin of beaten oil and a fourth of a hin of wine for a drink offering. The other lamb you shall offer at twilight and shall offer it with a grain offering and with its drink offering as in the morning for a pleasing aroma of food offering to the Lord. It shall be a regular burnt offering throughout your generations at the entrance of the tent of meeting before the Lord, where I will meet with you to speak to you there. There I will meet with the people of Israel, and it shall be sanctified by my glory. I will consecrate the tent of meeting and the altar. Aaron also and his sons I will consecrate to serve me as priests. I will dwell among the people of Israel and will be their God. And they shall know that I am the Lord their God, who brought them out of the land of Egypt, that I might dwell among them. I am the Lord their God. This is the word of God. You know, these were the sacrifices that the priests of Israel needed to make in order to be consecrated because priests, even the priests born out of the chosen lineage of Levi or the sons of Aaron were not worthy to behold the holiness and the righteousness of God without constant sacrifices. Brothers and sisters, just in a seven day period, the priests were required to bring 14 sacrifices of lamb, once in the morning, once in the evening. But along with the lamb, they were supposed to bring drink offerings and grain offerings as food offerings to the Lord as well. These were the daily tasks of the priest. These were the daily, everyday tasks of the priest because God, who is holy, who is set apart, who also desires to dwell with his people, cannot be met and spoken to safely by sinful men, even if they were the chosen priests. Well, brothers and sisters, praise be to God that you and I, whether you are a priest or not, you and I are not under this law, under this requirement any longer. Because Jesus Christ, the perfect Lamb of God, died on the cross and rose again from the dead. He became the perfect and final sacrifice that satisfied the wrath of God against mankind. Because of Jesus, we can know that God truly is our Lord and Savior, our God who brought us not out of the land of Egypt, but from the chains of the slavery of sin. So come, come to the altar. God desires to dwell within your heart. Open your heart and be filled with the glory of God today. Amen.